All right, my friends, how you doing? Welcome to the coding tutorial or walkthrough for chapter two of the robotic arm. What we're going to do is we're going to open up a new project. You can name it what you want. I'm going to call this code tutorial. And we're going to choose word blocks and we're going to hit create. And it's going to give us our open canvas here. And what we're going to be doing is writing code for three motors. We've got the large motor which is designed to move the robot to the right and to the left. That's going to be in port E if you've programmed according to the book. The up and down is a medium motor plugged into port C. And then the open and closing of the claw is port A. So let's go ahead and get a couple things all ready to rock and roll. So we're going to start with this when program starts. And what we want to do is when you start your program, you want to make sure the controller, the joystick is all settled and, and centered to the best of your ability. Because what we're going to do is we're going to establish uh, the coordinates based on when the program starts. In this case, we're going to set the yaw angle to zero. This is what we're going to be using uh, for motor E to move the claw to the right and to the left based on the movement of the IntelliJ hub. And so we're going to set that to zero. We're then going to just make sure that the robot starts in the same position every single time so we can keep our coordinates and motor degrees all right where we want to. So we're going to go to a blue motor block and we're going to choose the second one in there that says a motor go to the shorted path to position zero. And we're going to make this motor E and then we're going to just duplicate this block and we're going to do the same thing for motor C. So this is going to move our two motors for the up and down and the right and left of the robot arm and get it all centered, straight, looking forward, ready to rock and roll. So this is one little segment of code. I just like to call this like the starting points or, or establishing the, uh, the, the foundation, make sure we're all set up the same way every time. What we're gonna do next then is we're actually going to go to the events block and we're gonna bring over another when program starts. I just like to have it broken up it's easier for me to adjust and modify code and then if i'm looking at things that aren't working uh, i can go to the chunk that of, of code that the code stack that that we need so the first thing here under the program when program starts is i want to get the speed established and so in this case i'm going to bring over another motor block of a motor set speed to 75 percent i'm going to make this five percent and as we talked about at the beginning, it's going to be motor C for the up and down. I don't want it too fast. I don't want it too jerky um, so we, where we lose the object that we're trying to move. You can adjust the speed to your liking. I just like to keep it nice and smooth and, and nice and slow. Once we have that, we're going to go to our control blocks and we're going to bring in a forever block. And this will just keep our robot arm constantly going until you end the code. So in this forever block, we're going to put in a motor block here. The one we just put in over here of going to the shortest path. We're going to make this motor E, or port E, excuse me, to the shortest path to position. And this time we're not going to put a certain degree in there. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to sense using the gyro sensor that's built into the Intelligent Hub. And we're going to put in the angle in this case, it's going to be a pitch angle, and we're going to change that to the yaw. So it's going to be taking the coordinates from the yaw axis, and it's going to then be moving the robot to the right or to the left, the robot arm, depending on how we move that intelligence. So if I tilt it or twist it to the right or twist it to the left, it's going to go to that angle of the robotic arm. And so we put that block there. Once we've got that in motion, we're then going to put in a series of if blocks. And what we're doing here is creating some criteria, some constraints, so our robot's not constantly moving all the time. We don't want the robot arm always in action. We've got to have uh, a, a safe zone, so to speak, where nothing happens. So the way we do that is we're going to put in an if statement here. And for the first one, we are going to use the less than operator block, which is your green block. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that in that little space right there. And I'm going to go to our pitch angle here. And what I'm going to do now is if 
our pitch angle is less than negative 3. All right, and what we want to do is we want to start moving the motor. And this is how the motor is at 5%. And this is going to move our motor up and down based on how you tilt the Intelligent Hub. So what I'm going to do is go back up to this motor block, and I'm just going to choose this motor A, start motor. I'm going to make this motor report C, and we're going to move this counterclockwise. And then we're going to do the exact same thing, but this time we're going to have the greater than block. So I'm going to go here to control. Oh, not forever. Excuse me. We're going to bring in another if, a green operator block. This time, not less than, but greater than. We're going to do that. We're going to go to our teal sensor blocks. We're going to bring in that pitch angle again, if pitch angle. And this time, as opposed to negative three, we're going to make it three. So we basically have three degree buffer um, for our controller um, to make sure that it's not constantly moving all the time. And then in this case, we can just duplicate this block. Same thing, but as opposed to counterclockwise, let's just go ahead and make it clockwise. This is going to allow now our motors to go, or our robot arm, to move up and down to grab and move an object. The last if statement we're going to put in is when our controller, our IntelliJ Hub, is at a resting state, we don't want anything to move. So again, we're going to put in some operator blocks, but we got to do two of them because we have to create the conditions. So we're going to start with the green and block here. And what we're going to do is just copy these two angles. So I'm going to just duplicate right here this one. So if our angle... Let's go ahead and stick that right there and duplicate this one. If our pitch angle is between negative 3 and 3 degrees, what we want to have happen is nothing. So we're going to put in a blue stop motor block for port C. So if it's above 3 or less than negative 3, our arm's going up and down. If it's in that zone, it's not going to do anything, and that's just going to keep our, our robot arm pretty stable. Now, the last thing we want to do is, as we're moving, and our robot arm with this blue motor blocks moving to the right and left, and then making conditions to go up and down, when we reach the object, we want to be able to open and close the claw. So we're going to go to our events block, and we're going to look for when the button on the Intelligent Hub is pressed. So I'm going to bring this over. We're going to change this to when the right button is pressed. We want to get these the claw opening and closing. So we're going to bring over this first block. The motor is going to run for one rotation. But in this case, we're going to stay with port A. We are going to run counterclock or excuse, we are going to run clockwise. We're going to make this seven, but we're not doing seven rotations. We're going to do seven degrees, a very small amount. So you can really dial it in, make sure that you can get it captured the way you want. And then next, we're going to right click, we're going to duplicate this code stack. And we're going to do the same thing for a little, when the left button's pressed. We're going to move this counterclockwise. So now we have the right and left buttons on the Intelligent Hub to open and close the claw. This is the code right here. And in this case, you should be able to move the robot arm to the right, to the left by twisting the IntelliJ Hub, open and close by tilting it forward and backwards, and then opening and closing the claw with the right and left buttons. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. And I can't wait to see your robotic builds, in this case, a robot arm, what you do with this example robot arm, and how you tweak it to make it even cooler than cool. Take care. Bye.